From the very beginning, as we mentioned, the seven Action News investigators have been relentless in bringing you each and every fact of this trial every step of the way for five months. It's been five long months for sure. Heather Catalo, Ross Jones, Scott Lewis, and Bill Proctor have spent that time tracking down the players, asking the important questions, getting the answers, and blogging from the courthouse to bring you complete up-to-the-minute coverage of this historic case in the city of Detroit. Start out at the end with Heather. Uh, if you had to pick a moment in this last uh, five months, what would you say that was? I think there were several moments, of course, but there were a couple of really powerful witnesses. Kathleen McCann, who was testifying about some of the interactions on some of the water department deals, and April Edgar, who's Christine Beattie's half-sister. She testified about the Civic Fund, and that's all those mail and wire fraud charges over and over again. Why did you send that check? Because the mayor told me to. So two very powerful moments. There were, there were, there were actually too many to count, but a couple other spots where perhaps the jury lost some credibility with the defense that could have been sort of that turning of the tide but a long, a long go. Ross Jones, you were inside that courtroom blogging for us, keeping us up to date on everything that was happening. You even rubbed elbows with Bobby Ferguson at the pop machine, I remember. I mean, what are your thoughts? I'm just thinking about uh, fathers and sons is what it's all, all coming back to me here. I mean, uh, Kwame Kilpatrick is a product of his father, everybody says, everybody who knows them well. And look where it got him. And now Kwame Kilpatrick's sons are not going to have a father for you would think about 20 years and I, I, you, you just hope that they turn out uh, better than their dad did. Yeah, devastating certainly for the Kilpatrick family, but Bobby Ferguson as well with five kids at home. Uh, Scott Lewis, uh, you covered uh, a lot of the, the outside of the trial. I remember seeing you doing a lot of those kinds of stories. Uh, what struck you about this trial and its effect on the city of Detroit? Well, I think it's devastating. Like Nero, I think he fiddled while Rome burned. I mean, we hadn't been hearing much about this ballooning deficit we're dealing with right now, and I think from the evidence, it's clear they were pretty busy running their pay-to-play scheme and not spending enough time minding the store. I think this set the city back probably 10 years, and I think it's going to be a while before we dig out of it. But I do think having a, a verdict here mm -hmm. and having, hopefully, the emergency manager coming in and doing some good things, maybe we're on the way up. Bill Proctor, we're going to give you the last word. A lot of people I heard call this a media lynching. Do you agree with that, or what are your thoughts on this trial? We in the media saw something wrong from those very first words out of Kwame Kilpatrick's, I guess, his most memorable press conference, where he pounded and he said, it didn't happen, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. That was the party that we couldn't... Kwame Kilpatrick, guilty. Bobby Ferguson. Uh, Bernard, behind the scenes, talking to businessmen, saying, as soon as we knew Kwame Kilpatrick was about to be mayor, he said, gee, guys, let's get together. It's time to make money. That's what we didn't know. Thank you all for your hard work on this.